It's a could be true question and therefore we need just one case where these conditions are satisfied and the respective conditions given in the statements are also satisfied. So the first condition is of course very easily satisfied for a big value of x, let's say x is equal to 10,000, relatively smaller value of y, let's say y is equal to 100 and a smaller value of z, let's say z is equal to 1. So statement 1 can be true. Look at statement 2 now. Statement 2 is never going to be possible. See, it's given that x is greater than y is greater than z and all of them are positive. The square root values are also going to be in the exactly same order and therefore this condition can never be true. Answer choices which have a 2 in them cannot be correct. Choices B, C and E cannot be correct. Statement 3 is interesting because see the powers involved here are different. Here you have the third root whereas it is the second root in the first and the third expressions here. This third root can change the things. Remember in this range of 0 to positive 1, in this range the higher roots lead to bigger values. For example, if x is a big number, not necessarily in this range, but let's say if x is equal to say 0.99 and y and z are very close, but they are much smaller in this range of 0 to 1, let's say y is equal to 0.2 and z is equal to 0.19, you will find that the square root of 0.2 will be a bigger value, but the cube root of 0.19 will be an even bigger value. Let me take an example that would be more intuitive x can be anything, let's say x is equal to 100 and let us say y is equal to 1 by 64 and z is equal to 1 by 125. So see, originally x is greater than y is greater than z and all are positive but when we take square root of x, we get 10 here. When we take square root of 1 by 64, we get 1 by 8 here and when we take cube root of z, we get 1 by 5 here and therefore when arranged in order, we get this expression square root x is the biggest, 10, then cube root of z, c 1 by 5 and then square root of y, c 1 by 8. Statements 1 and 2 are easy to tackle. It's statement 3 that is the real catch in this question. If you could get this right and through the correct reasoning, a very good job. Statement 1 and statement 3 could be correct. D is the correct answer choice.